Good morning, and welcome again to another daily devotional from Revival Time Assembly. I am Randy Mason, and I'm grateful to my pastors, Reverends Lloyd and Norma Hart, for allowing me this opportunity to share with you this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks again. We thank you, O God, that today we are going to learn about the resurrection and the life. Father God, you gave your life for us, and you rose again on the third day. Father God, we pray, O God, that as we hear this word, it will minister unto us and bless us. We give you thanks, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. In chapter 11, verses 1 to 44, we see the story of Lazarus' death. Jesus was a good friend to this family, and he loved them very much, especially Lazarus. Because they knew Jesus' power of healing, they were hoping that he would have come quickly to heal their brother, Lazarus. Jesus didn't respond immediately to the call about Lazarus' sickness. This was intentional though, because he wanted to show his father's glory. When Jesus reached Judea, four days had already passed since Lazarus' death. Healing the sick is one thing, but raising the dead, even after four days being buried, is another. Jesus spoke to a decomposing body, called it by name, and told it to come forth. And out hops a body wrapped in grave clothes from head to toe. A scary scene, I'm sure. Lazarus was alive again. Through this miracle, many believed. And that, my friend, is the glory of God. We live in a microwave age, and we sometimes expect God to respond immediately to our call. And of course, we get very disappointed when it doesn't happen in the time or in the way we want it to. But God always knows what he is doing, and his timing is always perfect. In verse 24, chapter 11, Jesus said to Martha, Your brother will rise again. But she believed he meant in the last day. In John 11:25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Do you have any situation in your life that needs resurrecting or restoring? A loved one that needs saving? How about dead relationships or dead marriages? Dead finances? Dead churches? Jesus has the power over life and death. He can restore any dead situation. We just need to trust and turn it all over to him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this word today. We thank you, God, that you are the resurrection and the life. That you have the power over life and death and you are able, to God, to restore any dead situation in our lives. We pray, O God, that anybody who is experiencing any dead situation, that you, O God, will meet them at the point of their need and restore that dead situation. We thank you for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, amen. So, saints, we will continue tomorrow on the I Am's of Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. God bless.